So Akai just dropped a brand new expansion called Tape Series Volume 1. And now this contains 26 kits filled with loops and drum sounds, but it also contains 16 patterns. If you're not familiar with what a pattern is, it's essentially MPC's version of a MIDI file. You can drop it into a track on a sequence and essentially you're going to see a bunch of notes that were played in by somebody. Now, the cool thing is with this is we can also convert it into a progression. So then we're able to simply play back the full chords on the pads of the MPC without having to try and recreate that piano playing. Or you could drop in the pattern as MIDI notes and then bounce it into audio and then re-chop it and re-sequence it just like you were re-chopping a loop. So in this video, we're gonna listen to all 26 kits inside of Tape Series Volume 1. Also, we'll check out all 16 patterns and make sure to stick around to the very end where we're gonna go over how to take those patterns, convert them into a progression, save them so we can use those chords later.
So if we're on our MPC and we want to load in a pattern and then take that pattern and convert it to a progression so we can use the chords inside of that pattern later, first thing we're going to do just so we can hear the pattern is we're going to convert this to a plug-in track and we're just going to put Fabric Piano. You can put any sound you want onto this channel, but I'm just going to go to the piano. We're going to hit browser right here. Now we're going to select the expansion that the patterns are in and by default it's going to go to the programs but if we go one over we're going to go into the sequence and pattern menu we're going to see a whole bunch of sxq which are sequences those will correspond to the layout of the actual program that we put in there but if we go past those all the way down we're going to start seeing some files that say dot mpc pattern for this i'm going to load in the one that's called speed of god let's click that to load it in Go back to our main, and now we'll see inside of our grid, we've actually loaded a whole sequence of MIDI. Now, the one thing to take note is you can see that this actual pattern is longer than the default of two bars that I have for my sequences. So inside of main, I'm just gonna turn this to two bars all the way up to eight bars. Now we'll go back into here, and we should be able to see all the notes will now play. Let's have a listen to this. Now I'm going to actually convert all of this into individual chords that I can then play back as a progression on the pads. One little tip is to eliminate all of the single notes that are kind of sitting on their own. So I'm going to take that and just cut it. I'm going to take this one right here because sometimes these will actually be assigned to an individual pad if they're not close enough to the start. So shift, cut. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our main. And then on this track right here, we're going to go into our edit menu right here. And it's going to say convert to progressions right at the bottom. It's going to look over it. It's going to say, what do we want to call this? Well, I want to call this, let's say, Speed of God, just so I know where I got these chords. And then I'm going to see that it detected that the root note is G and then it will show us all of our different chords. Now we can rename the chords if we want, going through chord one, chord two, chord three, everything of that sort. But it actually does a really good job of detecting what chord it is. And you can also hit the play button right here and preview that individual chord. And then all we have to do is hit do it, it's going to convert that. Then if we go into our pad performer and go into progressions right here, select the progressions. If we look under other right here, we can see the one that we just saved. Let's go into that. And now Let's change this to the root that it was on. That's how you take a pattern or any MIDI that's inside of a track and convert it into a progression so you can play those chords on the individual pads. Now let's go over to the computer. Now we go up to the toolbar and on the very top under where it says tools, we're going to have the ability to convert to progression. Same thing, we're gonna rename this, save it. And now when we convert this into a pad performer and go under other, we're gonna see our file is saved right there. All right, let me know what you think. Brand new expansion pack from Akai tape series volume one for me i think a lot of these drums are actually really dope really cool i like all the foley textures in there as well and also the patterns that are included with this expansion are pretty nice i would rearrange some of the midi you can always change the root note put it in a different key and of course we can bounce it to audio rechop it or just convert it to a progression and have those chords at our disposal in future projects 
Thanks a lot for watching the video all the way to the end. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe down below and go make something cool.